Crazy Town's 10 minutes or less. I'm Jonas. And I'm T and T Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. And let's start the timer. But ding. So, uh, yeah. TNT. I mean, uh, y- you just went on some travels. <laughs> I did. I went back to the our old stomping grounds to go visit some family. Nice, nice. That's any cool. uh, any uh, magical Ohio stories that are or traveling stories or um, airplane a, stories? Oh yeah, absolutely. I okay. wow. <laughs> You know, it's funny when you said that. I thought of something else, but uh, I did eat out of Mr. Hero. Keep, keep a the, note for that for another was, episode. Was, was, no, I'm going to bring it up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dude, Mr. Up. Hero. Mr. Hero is amazing. Okay. And I know we've mentioned this many times. Yeah. If you're not from like Ohio, Kentucky, yeah. I don't even know what, that little Midwest state, Google Mr. Hero. Yeah. And it looks like trash. It's not. It's not. I mean, but all fast. It's kind of trash. All fast food looks like trash. Mr. Hills looks like trash because they don't do all the like the fake stuff that they do in commercials. Right. Like they make the cheese out of like play doh and stuff. They don't. Right. Right. Well, and they also all their sandwiches are served on like seven inch hoagie buns. So yeah. even cheeseburgers. So instead of getting like a quarter pound patty, you get two like eighth pound patties on a yeah. set. So it's like it looks like cheap little it's like good stuff though. Yeah, but it's good. Anyway, so speaking you want- of speaking of Mr. Hills though, um. Actually, this is the first time that I've flown on a plane and some dude started freaking throwing up on the plane, man. No! <laughs> where at? <laughs> like, where, like, where was? I mean, I know you haven't flown a ton, right? But, like... I mean, yeah, this this is good. I'm getting up there Yeah, now. you're, yeah, you're almost a frequent flyer, dude. Yeah, yeah. My number's getting up there. But this dude, I, sw- I don't even know, like, it wasn't turbulence. There was nothing going on. But... I just heard, like, I had both of my earbuds in, and I'm watching, what was I watching, Paddington 2? By the oh. way, not a bad movie. Oh, get, the, get out of here. You and these kids' movies, yo. <laughs> no, but anyway, like, I just heard, like, a bunch of people in a commotion. Then I hear, like, some dude going, Ugh. And I'm like, I took an earbud out. I'm like, no. He's running down the aisle. It's spraying out like a fountain. So he's maybe like three three seats back uh, on the other side of the plane. And I'm just like, I started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, ha But it was okay because I was watching the movie. But I was really laughing at yeah, the yeah. dude who was throwing up. And uh, like there was like a bunch of people like rushing them bags because he just, he kept going, dude. This went on for like 10 minutes of him just like ralphing and periodically. Let me ask you this. Okay. So, and this makes all the difference and I don't know why. Mm-hmm. So like when you, when you saw this man, yeah, was he a average person? Well, you mean, was he like, <laughs> no, not like, like in size, but like, ugly? okay. <laughs> I guess my point is if like, if like, the guy walks on the plane, he just, he just looks like a regular dude. Yeah. Whatever. But if you look back and he looks like a crazy guy or he's like, you know what I mean? Like, there's people yeah. when you see him and you're like, something ain't right about this dude. And then that's okay. the dude who's throwing up on top of it. Yeah. <laughs> like, there that's was, weirder. There was, there was definitely a level of unkempt. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he, was, he was not kempt. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He wasn't like totally not kempt, but he was, there was some not kempt. Like happening. you wouldn't be surprised that this happened to this man. Yeah. Like yeah. Maybe, maybe he was sick. You know. Maybe he was sick. Decided to get on a plane sick. Thanks a lot, a hole. Yeah. Either way, I guess you can't cancel your trip to Hawaii. Yeah. No, we weren't going to Hawaii. Yeah. I did not go to Hawaii. Speaking but, of which, I saw a picture online that someone posted. It was on Reddit. Someone posted a picture of two people on an airplane, yeah. almost in full hazmat, right? Like, this is recent, not like mm-hmm. not like beginning of COVID. They had, like, the whole white garb on, like a, a mask, a thing. And, and I was really proud of the internet because the person posted it almost like, oh, my God, look at these people. And almost all. All of the comments were like, "No, we are not going to start shaming people for taking protection out here." Right. Like, and like, and like, a lot of people were like, "Yeah, but what if, what if that person just had an organ transplant and exactly. their partner's wearing the shit, so they don't feel, exactly. they don't feel weird?" Like, we will not be out here shaming people yeah. for protecting. I was like, "Go internet!" Like, Dang hell yeah! Right. So. Right. Anyways, I, I had to get on somebody about that, too, because they were saying that somebody was taking uh, COVID, COVID too seriously. And I was like, I was like, well, what you don't know is that that person is currently going through chemotherapy. So I'm like, yeah, right. they or, should or be. their mom is and they don't want to get sick. So no, it was like some... a real person that I knew was going oh, through oh, chemotherapy. Oh, oh, I'm okay. like, she's going through chemotherapy. You know, it could be, that is the reason that she has to take it a little bit more seriously than you, you know? So I, I I totally understand. I don't shame people for doing whatever they want to do. There was lots of people wearing masks on the airplane. There was lots of people not. Yeah, when I when I flew last time, Never. which was in May, I wore a mask on the whole time in the airport and on a plane. Mm-hmm. And I haven't worn a mask around town in forever. But 
I was there was there was maybe I'd say at most twenty percent of the people had on masks. Yeah, yeah. But I was like, I'm fine. But I'm I'm not gonna shame anybody for no. not wearing one, nor am I gonna shame anybody for. Nah, it, I don't care. What does it hurt anyone if you're wearing exactly. a Exactly. Anyway, anyway, so go it's, ahead. It's not a triggering to me. I guess. Right. Exactly. Uh, yeah. I don't know. All in all, a pretty good trip. I did. I got window seat both times. Woo! Hey, did you get the extra legroom seat? Uh, you know, I don't know where the, I see, and that's a part of flying that I don't, I'm, I'm still new. All right, I just now realized that you have to do the automatic check in. That is a must. And S- Southwest Imperative. is the only one that does that. Yeah, they are the only yeah, ones yeah. that do it. But they yeah. have like the you can the, uh, the wind. The extra leg seat is about one third down the plane. Okay, and then it's there's an aisle it's with on two the wings? seats. Yes. It's on the wing. It's right on the wing because it's like there's the spot that you would pop out the door to help everybody out yeah. is right above the wing. So yeah, there's yeah, a yeah. two seat empty spot window, and then you get the seat right there. And then the only the only thing that sucks is you know you get to put your bag under the seat in front of you. It's yeah. like technically two seats in front of you because you have that, but you can stretch your legs. I don't. Yeah, I don't care if it's two seats in front. That's perfectly fine. So is is that the same seat where like uh, if the plane were to you know have a mishap that you would be in charge of like yeah. opening the? Oh, you get the responsibility. Th- no, they come and talk to you and say, "Look, yes, you're sitting here." Say. And some planes have one on each side, yeah. and some only have one. And they will come and they will be like, "Here's where you're sitting. Here's your responsibilities." They say. I need a verbal yes that you agree to do this. And you have everyone has to be like, yes, 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 yes. Like, and if there's like a teenager or somebody sitting there, they're like, sorry, you can't sit here. You have to be, and they make them move and stuff. <gasps> yeah. yeah. Real deal responsibility. Dude, I've never been in that's the responsibility. <laughs> the responsibility. I want it. Yeah. I want to be, hey. I want to be freaking the rock, dude, and just be like letting people out. Like, come on, motherfucker. Getting in there, everybody gets get in the Get her, help her out. <laughs> yeah. Everybody gets in the You're raft, just going to have to fly again next week just to do it. Oh, uh, you're not even joking, dude. Let's go to let's go to Vegas. I'm down. All right. Let's go. Uh, no more than three days because it gets too much after that. Uh, I, let's just do the weekend and just oh, want to no, die. Oh, you go during the week, yo. And just want to, let's just go die. Yeah. <laughs> let's just oh. go on a Saturday and just get murdered in the streets. I mean, if we could, just all you have to do is start pin money to you, walk down an alley. <laughs> In money to you. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> attack me like a pack of dogs. <laughs> yeah, they just like run at you. Crazy meth prostitutes and wow, I meth. Pro- there are prostitutes. They will. I they know. will proposition you right on the strip. I know it's legal out there, right? Uh, I like, mean, not that format, but it is. Legal. I mean, they have the in bunny certain ranch. areas. It is. Yeah, they have the bunny ranch. It's out not there. like straight up you can just bang a prostitute. It's like if you go to a brothel, it's legal. Yeah, I mean, yeah. So like, not in the form that it's like the street. Yeah, but, but like three a.m. you're standing on the street with a drink. A girl will come up and be like, "Hey, why don't you and your buddy run a train on me?" And you're like, <laughs> "Excuse me." Hey, you don't know that woman might have an LLC. Jonas. That happened to me. She like I, we were st- the first night I went to Vegas. I was standing on the street with my friend, yeah. and a girl just walks up to us out of nowhere, and it was just like. Hey, why don't you do this to me? Why he does that to me? And I was like, "Hi, hello." And she was like, "You interested?" And I was like, "I, I didn't even know what to say. Like, I was just so caught off guard." Uh, how much? Yeah, yeah right. Like, I how mean, much are we talking? Yeah, yeah, how much are we talking? <laughs> she's like, well, I, honestly, just to know the price. She's I like, have no intention she, on <laughs> doing it, but I want to know like, how much. Uh, Seven fifty each. <laughs> Dollars. Hey, I respect that. <laughs> 15, I respect bucks. that. No, thank you. Yeah, right. You know? Good for you. <laughs> Sorry, I passed. <laughs> so, but uh, any other uh, any other things pop off? No. Um. Any other travel adventures? No, nothing really. Nothing really happened. Just I hung out with some. You said family. you got a Dixie cup of uh, ginger ale. Oh, you want me to bring <laughs> that? What you want? We're already halfway through. Oh, we're almost done. Dude, yeah. I hate that. I hate it, Jonas. The, t- Fine. the ten minute. Look, no, I'm oh. gonna tell it. No, I'm gonna tell it then. Fine. You know when they give you a drink <laughs> on a freaking airplane, Jonas, and you're like, "Oh, I have a ginger ale," and they bring you a thimble full of freaking fluid, Jonas, and you're like, "And it's gone." <laughs> That's all you get. You get half a. And they want to satiate you, but they don't want you going to the bathroom on the plane. Uh, okay, I mean, I mean, I that you no, know, you know what? Honestly, that's probably something they pro- they provide a bathroom, but I think their goal is for no one to use it. Yes, because they constantly chastise you for having to use the bathroom. They do. They're all like, don't get up. The plane, yeah. the, the seatbelt lock is a gauge. Yeah. <laughs> the seatbelt lock is like a prison because it's like, oh, 
And, and Bing. like, ha- you gotta know is that only like a third of the people are actually putting their seat belt like, seat belts on when the seat belt light goes off. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They could shame you into like putting a sensor so that there's a little red light. If your seat I belt. have had uh, uh, seat forty two, I need you to put your seat belt on. You're you're in the kennel. I've had seat belt Nazis walk by, <laughs> and they literally. I've watched a lady go down the thing and be like, "Put on your seat belt." Put on your seatbelt. Yep. And I'm like, yep. damn, Zig Heil, lady. Hey, and what's your option? Don't do it. And this multi billion dollar company does not care if it's No, loses. then the you air marshal family. comes and takes you away. <laughs> There's an air marshal on every flight. I mean, but you get banned for life. Yeah, the air, the air they don't play ain't anymore. Bad. So, anyways, that's all the time we have today's episode. Holy crap. <laughs> go, go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe for Jonas. TNT. Uh, we out.